welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be cleaning my home with these organic and natural cleaners. spring cleaning my kitchen as part of a new series on my channel but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button recently I decided to start a new series on my channel I'm going to be spring cleaning my whole home using organic and natural products I've already done two videos previously, so I've cleaned the pantry and I've cleaned the fridge and freezer as well. And I will link those in the description box below for you. But today I'm going to be cleaning this area of my kitchen. It needed a really good clean and I've done that now with some brilliant products. So here is how I've cleaned my kitchen using organic and natural products. Firstly, as with my previous two videos, I begin by removing all of the items from the cupboards. I'm going to start here and then move on to the cupboards next to and above the hob. We like to keep our kitchen equipment around the oven as it makes a great storage space. I didn't want to use these cupboards for food as I felt the heat from the oven might destroy the food. So that's why we brought our pantry. Plus, I have a lot of gadgets and I need the extra space to store them. I've been meaning to clean the inside of these cupboards for a while now. It doesn't get too dirty in here, but I do like to clean out my storage space and make sure I'm not keeping anything I'm not using. Once I've cleaned the space, I then begin to clean the inside and on top of the cupboards. Today I've decided to clean the tops of the cupboards as they get very dusty and dirty. Plus, I've been staring at quite a few cobwebs recently too. For this, I'm going to use a washing up liquid I found in my local supermarket. It's by a company called Surcare Sensitive. We've brought this product before and I really like using it. They have a promise that they don't use anything unnecessary in the washing up liquid. It's for people with sensitive skin, so there are no acids or dyes in the liquid. Plus, it doesn't really have a smell to it, so you can add a little bit of essential oil as well if you want to. I love it because during the winter months, I find my skin on the backs of my hands can be a little bit dry, so this product is a must for me. And the even bigger bonus was it was only a pound, so not too expensive either. Anyway, I've added a couple of drops of the liquid to a bowl of water, which I've left by the cupboard, and I'm just wiping around the top, getting rid of the dirt and cobwebs up here. Next, I'm going to move on to cleaning the inside and outside of the cupboards. For this, I'm using a kitchen and surface cleaner by Bentley Organic. This cleaner doesn't contain any chemical nasties, so it's not leaving a negative impact on the body nor the planet has no bleach or sulfates and it doesn't impact the water so the fish are safe. It's doing a good job on cleaning the inside of this cupboard and it has a lovely lemony smell but it wasn't cheap on Amazon. And I don't think I would buy it again nor recommend it to a friend. Not because it didn't do a good job, just that it was a very expensive product. Once I've cleaned the insides of this cupboard I leave them to dry. I'm not tackling the oven today as I'm going to get a professional in. The light has gone from our oven and I would like a person to clean it as I don't want to touch the light. While the cupboard is drying, I sort through the equipment and make sure there isn't anything we don't want. I then start to put everything back. I check again to make sure we want everything to be put back. I've recycled a few of the smaller glass jars as that part of the cupboard was getting a little overcrowded. I kept this many in case I needed them for storage. I like to keep pesto or any leftover sauces we have been eating in the past few days in them. 
The larger glass jars also make a good way to store homemade presents like chocolates or date balls. Next, I tackle the baskets. I like to keep these in the cupboard. There are a few items that I can give to the charity shop or throw in the cycling from here. So everything is back in the cupboard and I can then move on to the hob area. Again, I remove all the items from this part of the kitchen. I cleared the island so that I can put all of the kitchen equipment on it. But I have run out of space, so I've had to use the work area near the kitchen sink as well. When everything is out of the cupboards, I begin to clean again with the organic kitchen spray. We have drawers underneath our hob. So I've also had to use a small vacuum cleaner to remove the dirt that has fallen in the bottom of the drawers. I then spray them and clean them out. I didn't clean out the oil drawers as it isn't dirty, but I have given it a quick wipe to make sure it stays clean. While I was recording, I realised I didn't clean the crockery, tea and coffee cupboards out either. So I'm just going to clean these out now. I wanted to remove any mugs we may not be using or that are chipped. Sadly, there's only one with a chip in it and the rest I don't have the heart to give to the charity shop. So I'm putting them back as best I can. I've also cleaned the tea and coffee baskets and I've hoovered inside this part of the cupboard as I think we had a spill a little while ago. I've put everything back in the cupboards and I'm now moving on to the plates and bowls cupboard. The inside of this cupboard isn't too dirty, but there is a trivet in here that we don't really use. So I'm going to give it to charity. So again, I remove everything and then I clean and then I put everything back. Now onto the final part of the kitchen for this video the cupboard below the work surface and kettle area. Again, it wasn't a very dirty area, but it's always good to have a clean. So I use the organic cleaner to wipe the shelves with. It isn't a bad cleaner and it does smell nice, but as I mentioned earlier, it was very pricey, so I don't think I'll be buying it again. Now I'm going to put everything back. As I go through, I look at anything we may be able to take to the charity shop, plus, I also give the utensil jars a quick wash using the Surcare washing up liquid. It's done a great job cleaning these and this is definitely a product I would buy again. Finally, I have found a few items I no longer need. These are going to be taken to the charity shop and that is the kitchen cupboard spring cleaned. All of the products I've mentioned in this video, I will link in the description box below for you. The cleaners I have used today have done a good job and I will be buying the Surcare washing up liquid, but not the Bentley Organic Kitchen Cleaner. It's a good product, but far too expensive. So my kitchen cupboards are now clean and tidy part of the kitchen clean and for my next video I'm going to be cleaning the next part of the kitchen as well so watch out for that on my channel that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below have you cleaned your house with organic and natural products and how did you find them I'd love to know and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.